Welcome to Best WP7 Games. Today we'll be looking at Pool Plus Friends, a uh, well, a pool game with an online element. Uh, this is its main selling point. It has a uh, say full ability to play multiplayer once you've paid for the full version. Uh, I won't actually be showing you that gameplay element as it will take too long to play a multiplayer game, but you can have a look here. You can create a new game or join any other ones that are currently ongoing. Um, at the moment there's usually a game playing, so you can usually find one if you're after it. As you can see, it offers eight ball, uh, well, or pool, stand uh, challenges, which is basically trick shots, and uh, a points game, which we'll have a look at later. So. Anyway, standard eight ball, uh, you get four choices of difficulty, but you notice there's no multiplayer option, which seems a bit odd. Do you think there'd be a local multiplayer, as this is a turn-based game? It would be fairly easy to implement. Anyway, um, it does include the option for instructions, in case you're not sure of the rules of pool, which, as it turns out, is quite useful. Because the rules this is following are well, they're the Canadian rules, um, which I assume are standard in Canada. However, they're certainly not standard in the United States or the United Kingdom, or having done a bit of research in most of the world. Um, we'll see the major difference in a little while. Anyway, as you can see, when you start, you have to obviously break the triangle. That's a really standard feature here and you click and drag to uh, aim and shoot. However, if you tap that button on the right, you can also replace the cue ball. That's normal for uh, when breaking off. And then once you've uh, lined up your shot, you can then adjust it using these little sliders at the bottom of the screen. Um, the power one isn't actually a proper slider. You have to tap to the right or left of it to use it. At least that's the way it always seems to work with me. Uh, whereas the aiming slider is a proper slider. So Very useful for um, perfecting your aim. And I've got to say, this control system works really well. Um, it's nicely thought out, simple to use, very effective. Um, yeah, as you can see, uh, neither of us have managed to pot anything so far. I'll, uh, I'm not really in a position to pot anything, so I'll just break out of here. Um, so there are some flaws of the control system. The main one is that you see the shoot button can go off the edge of the screen. Uh, you can tap it there, but if it's over, say, any of the fine-tuning parts of the screen, it's a bit of a pain to use. Still, aside from that, it is a well thought out scheme. Um, and for one thing, you can click and drag. You don't actually have to do it on the ball. Uh, as you can see, you can do it from anywhere on the table, which is very handy because obviously you don't always want to be obscuring your view of things. So, anyway, I um, should be able to pop this. Uh, you can see it tends to work as you might expect. Um, the physics, and they work. They're not perfect, uh, and if you're someone who's actually played or watched a lot of pool, um, or any other form of billiards, it doesn't feel quite right. But it is fairly close. I mean, it could be a lot worse. Generally, things feel about right. Um, the frame rate's actually working quite well at the moment, but it seems... I don't know why, sometimes it really doesn't work so well. Uh, especially when travelling. I think it may be that it's constantly trying to keep a connection online even when you're playing offline. I'm not entirely sure what it is, but it can be a pain. Unfortunately, it's not display here. And anyway, I just skip forward so we can see the main difference in Canadian rules. You can see the uh, AI just uh, miss shot, so uh, it's a foul ball, and so I get the ball in hand and can place it anywhere on the table. Anywhere. And this wouldn't just be the case because he potted the white. Any sort of foul would be the same if he'd you know, accidentally hit one of my balls. The same effect. And it's... Huh, for someone who's used to playing British or American rules, that's really strange. Because normally it's limited to being uh, within a very small area. And you can also, no also notice a bit of a glitch in the guidelines here. You can't turn off those lines, but you see it's showing it as if it's not going to hit the brown. It is showing that I'm going to pop the black, that's, that's what I intend. But there are a few glitches like that. Sometimes the white ball will touch balls that said it won't, and other times it won't hit balls that said it will. This doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it can, well, throw your game. It's a little bit odd to be lied to by a game. Anyway, well, uh, Oh, out of the 8-ball mode, and uh, switch to challenges. As I said, this is basically just trick shots. It gives you a specific uh, instruction. In this case, pot these four balls in four turns. Uh, I won't actually show you this happening. I mean, it's fairly straightforward. Um, you also got the points game, which, well, um, I mean, it's a bit like pool. It's another competitive game, but rather than... Uh, working out where you've got to pot all of a certain type and then pot the black. In this case, it's simply points-based. Certain balls are worth more points, some are worth negative points. And when all the balls are potted, whoever has the highest score wins. 
very straightforward. Um, works quite well. Nice little addition. No online mode for it, which is a bit strange, but uh, no, it's a, a nice little addition and uh, nice them to include it. So yeah, that's that's cool for friends. Um, so it's got a few flaws, but with a little bit of work, it could really, really be something quite impressive. Uh, just a shame that there's no option for non-Canadian rules. <laughs>